<laughs> um, you found this kid who had sent you death threats. Uh, and and, and conf let me show the video here. And you confronted this person. I, I just I just foreshadowed. I said kid. But I don't think we, you didn't know it was a kid when you found him. Let's roll this clip and we'll come right back. Can I ask you what, what it is I've said or done? Yeah, that if you, even if you didn't want me murdered, what it, what it is about me or what I've said that you so feel so strongly against? Just, just don't agree with what you do. Can you give me one example of what I've said or done that incites hate? Well, just just being a part of the EDL is and street protesting against the whole of, of Islam. What what education you have on Islam? Now it struck me, Tommy. First off, did you know this was a kid? How did you find him? No. So basically, anyone who talks about my children that changes it. Yeah. So I saw these videos that he put online saying. I'm going to kill your family. I'm going to slit your mother's throat. I'm going to kill your kid. I'm going to rape your daughter. And then all of these things. That and, little, and that little percent sent those? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And all of the references he made, all of the references he made were about taking the property of... So all of it was religiously entwined right. with what he was saying, which for me is a worry, especially with, with my... I have three young children. So I then called the police... I videoed the meeting with the police. I said, are you going to take this seriously? They assured me they were. They told me how many different units and organizations were, were all over this. So I said, OK, fine. I then went home, but I was uncomfortable sitting at home because I knew what he'd said. And I'd spent, I put a thousand pound reward up on Twitter to say anyone who gives me the identity of who this man is, I'll pay them a thousand pounds. I had seven children who went to school with him. Did you have Contact. to give out seven thousand pounds? No, I didn't. I gave out the first one. Okay, I, I was going to say, you could... I, I didn't, I, I, because I'd love to be able, I'd love to be able to do that again. So I, I gave out a thousand pounds, right? And then, and then I got his address. So when I met the police, I said, "Here's his name. Here's his address. I've done your work. Go and get." <laughs> well, <laughs> well, they might, they might not be so primed to help you. I've done your work. I've done your job. <laughs> Yeah, then what do we have left to do? But it's true. But it was it was incredible. I'm I'm amazed knowing that that context, how civil you were with the kid. It really did seem like you were trying to teach him a lesson at that point, and not just be an aggressor. I don't think this kid knew what he was doing. He had no idea as to what it is that you talk about. That was so striking to me. We had the same thing at SMU. Kids holding up protests, uh, protest signs that weren't theirs, and they couldn't tell you a single thing I'd said. Do you find that a constant when you confront people who have this idea of you? Constantly. The whole time. With this kid, I realised within seconds that he was mentally ill. Within seconds of looking at him. So I, it, this could have turned out so different. I sat outside his house for six hours watching his front door. And when his door opened at six o'clock in the morning for him to go to prayer, that's when I caught him. But then I was shocked that 24 hours after I've sat down and told the police who he is, and he put a statement out saying he's going to go kill an English lady. He could have killed an English lady. He could have killed my kids. And they've they done nothing. And then when I, but, but then it was very apparent that he was a victim as well. Although no matter what he said, he was a mentally retarded kid who has been used and abused. That's what he was. He had the, I, I'd say he had the mental age. My daughter's 10. I get more sense out of my daughter. When, he, he asked me for an arm wrestle, mid-argument, an arm wrestle. So it's very clear that he, he had serious learning difficulties. Seriously. He, he, had, right. he had a mental age probably of a 10 year old. And I asked him that. The first thing I said, if you've got learning difficulties, and he said yes, and it was it was clear that he did. Yeah. And then I, that's why I rang him an ambulance. But um, and if you look, we've had three terrorist attacks in the UK that have all been from people with mental with mental 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 ages of young children. Yeah. That are used, abused, sent out to bomb.